So fire alarm design is, um, it starts with the fire risk assessment. So you need to know what somebody wants. So the way the law works in the UK is that you you have a building and you, you, you need a fire risk assessment and the fire risk assessment will tell you what level of design a fire alarm needs. So um, typically L1, L2, L3, they're, they're, they're sort of types of fire alarm design. But you need to get the essential information first thing. You need the fire risk assessment. A lot of people ring us and think, okay, can you do me a fire alarm? And the conversation is, well, get your fire risk assessment and then we can design a fire alarm to meet that requirement. The next thing that you need, or that we need, is a drawing of your building. Um, so that we, it needs to be an accurate drawing showing um, the room layouts and so on. Ideally the voids, a lot of people haven't got that kind of information, um, which sort of brings you on to the, the next thing, which is design and proposal. So once you've got the fire risk assessment and some, some kind of drawing, you can visit site, we would come to site and have a look around, um, look around each of the, the rooms and design um, the fire alarm to meet uh, the standards that's been set out in the fire risk assessment. Um, typically things like a, you know, like a, a, an apex ceiling would make a difference or, or a ceiling that's got one of those light wells in it that's going to make a difference to it. Um, and, and, and a void above the ceiling, so we'd be looking to get above the ceiling to have a look at what you've got there to see if, if there's a space there that requires uh, detection as well as below the ceiling. Not always the case, depends on the height and so on, but that's our, our job to, to, to suss out. Um, the next bit would be you know, implementation, which is installation and, and aftercare. So installation, we'd be looking to find out, can we do it in normal hours? You know, is there any restriction? Do you want a wired system? Which means there's gonna be cables and potentially mini trunking. Is it, can we, can we hide it in voids? Or is it a radio system? Radio systems are, are great, um, but they tend to cost more than the wired system, but the cost of that could be mitigated because your operations won't be interrupted with a radio system as much as they would do with a wired system. So it's really understanding those kind of things and looking at the installation and then the aftercare is the maintenance. You know, what kind of maintenance do you need? And, um, you know, uh, typically it's two visits a year. Um, but are there other things that you could mitigate that with? Could you could you tie it in with CCTV maintenance or um, intruder alarm maintenance? And then you're getting real value for money um, from 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 our guy turning up to test your your fire alarm system. Mm -hmm.